Well, I'm back at the Paradise Antique Mall. Paradise Valley Antique Mall. Again, just had to come back. Beautiful porcelain Cupid lamps. Hmm. Not quite what I'm looking for, but very beautiful. Not quite what I'm looking for. Kind of excited to come back here because they're always adding new booths. Oh, this is beautiful. Black lacquer. I have another video from an estate. Here in Las Vegas, it's a huge black lacquer Asian furniture hoard. This is beautiful. Really nice. There's a mirror inside. Wow, that is gorgioso. I don't know how much it is. It's very, very nice. It's got drawers inside. Beautiful. Here's another one. Wow. Another one. I don't know. Are these antiques? You tell me. There's a Chinese wedding wood jewelry box for $180. Hmm. A little too steep for me. Going up in value. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Hmm. Well, they got me on that one. Ooh. Oh, how beautiful. Serving plate. Pedestal. These cake plates are desirable. Flowered cake pedestal. $18. Very pretty. Limoges. Limoges. Wow, that's Limoges. It's a pretty good price, I guess. Although, be careful because on eBay, what you think is real expensive Limoges is extremely reasonable. It's just got to be the certain type of Limoges. There's a really pretty hand painted pedestal also. $18, milk glass, hand-painted. What's this? McCoy. McCoy. Planter. Oh, that is so cool. I love that. That is super cool. McCoy. Do you like McCoy? Oh, Gail, you can't get in there. It's locked up. Oh, that's cute. That's a Teplitz lamb figurine, $75. I really want to get into this case. Wouldn't you? Don't you want to get into the case? I, I'm very put off by merchandise in cases. I know they have to do it, but... I don't know. I like the hands-on. I really want to get at those items and flip them over and touch them. Don't you? Don't you just want to do that? What's this? Hmm. This is an Angora teddy bear. It's $75. Was $429 retail price. You've got to be kidding me. Really? Where? Where would that be $429? I don't know. <laughs> That's a little too steep for me. There it is. There's the price. 429 buckaroos, baby. 
just gonna let him sit there <laughs> and be cute. Oh, I love this. I love this piece of pottery. It's glazed. It's majolica glazed pottery. Not too bad. Twenty-two fifty. Hmm. It's a beautiful glaze. It's really, really nice. I love the muted colors. Don't you? Don't you just think that is just beautiful? It's Belgian pottery. Spring sale. All items marked with green. 50% off. The green X. Oh. Does it have a green X? I really hope it does. It does not. It's a shame. Too bad. <laughs> I would have taken 50% off on that. This is nice too. I guess that's hand blown. Very pretty. Not quite exactly what I'm looking for, although I do love art glass. Here's Catalina. A Catalina figurine. $150. It was marked with 200 I don't really... Do you collect those? Do you collect figurines? I like them, but I don't. Here's Indiana glass, carnival glass, for $175. Be careful in these antique malls. Noritake. Condiment set, $25. I learned from Dr. Lori that's lusterware. Shiny from Japan. What is this? Look at this booth, baby. Marilyn Monroe. Is this a picture? Or a painting? I can't really tell. It's $550 consignment. But it doesn't say anything about the artist. It doesn't say anything about the painting. If it's a picture or a painting or a painting over a picture or a painting over a photograph, it's got jewelry. Real jewelry on the art piece, earrings. Wow. That is some beautiful piece of art right there. Stunning. really not much in this booth. Headboard? Rocking horse? Oh. Looks like a wig they put on there. It's handmade. It's got a saddle on it and there's a piece of turquoise there. Piece, very unique. It's a leather saddle. Yes. Don't you just love antique malls? The thing about antique malls is not everything in them is antique. Don't you agree? Yes. I see plenty of stuff at antique malls that's not a hundred years old. Beautiful. Look at that. Yes. What can you say about that? Yes. Here's another piece of art. I don't know who she is. Beautiful, nonetheless. Yes. 
Greek goddess 385. It's a little pricey for me. How about you? A puppy planter. How adorable. I love planters, don't you? Boy, they're very desirable right now. Records, bowling ball. Oh, I love this. This is beautiful. Look at the colors on this pottery. Maurice of California, USA. I love this. Don't you love this? And I guess these match. Candy dishes. It's beautiful. And look at this green color. I haven't seen anything like this before. This is really, really pretty. Wow. This is a vintage vanity set for $50. You just gotta be careful with the prices at antique malls though. Oh, this is nice. Porcelain flowers for $5. Hmm, I wonder why it's $5. Ooh. I'll always find the chips and cracks most of the time. Royal Stratford. Royal Stratford. Although pretty, I collect Capa de Monte, so. I don't know if a lot of people collect Capa de Monte. What do you think? I think it's passe, really, but I love it. Ah, the king. The king is in every antique mall I've ever been to, right? <laughs> the king, Elvis, thank you very much. Oh, more planters. Oh, I saw this before. I love this piece and I would have bought it, but it has a crack in it. And it's still here, but it's beautiful. I think it goes with that Maurice of California, but there's the, the crack. That's a no-go. That's a nay-nay no-no, as they say on Shark Tank. For that reason, I'm out. <laughs> More planters. Look at this adorable planter. at this one. Wow. There's a lot of... This booth has a lot of planters. I have hit the planter jackpot, baby. What is this? Deer. Two deer. It's very, very vintage. It's beautiful. And there's a little train planter. Adorable. But this one I really like. This one is missing the hoof. And that's a shame because that is a beautiful piece. I mean, you have to like deer, you know, to like this piece. It's a two deer TV lamp for $80. TV lamp. I don't know what that means, but it looks like there's a 
Something on the back, there was a sticker. I love this planter. Vintage ceramic sitting cow. Frisky the horse. Somebody's going to get him. I want to pay at a yard sale, you know, five dollars. It's going to be hard to negotiate in an antique mall, you know. They don't. They come down, but not too much. An elephant planter. Fifteen dollars. Cute. it's time to say goodbye to the planter booth. That is a great, great booth for somebody who likes planters. Let's go move on to this booth. Oh, coming to the porcelain jackpot now. What is this? got a hole in the bottom. I see that sometimes. I mean, what can you use that for if it has a hole in the bottom? Somebody please let me know because I have no idea. And I love this set. $145 for the set. It's really beautiful. But I'm looking for... I'm looking for this kind of thing, but only for $10. If you resell, it's very hard. You know it's really hard to buy anything at antique malls. If you want it just for yourself, yes. Problem is, are you going to find any of this stuff at Goodwill or Savers or Salvation Army? Chances are slim to none that anything this beautiful ends up at those thrift stores. Estate sales, yes. This cup is from Germany. It's beautiful. It's really odd looking. I don't know. 
know, do you see anything here that you, you like, that you would want to buy? I'm sure porcelain lovers would see a lot of stuff. And I, I go for the art glass, the porcelain. This is beautiful. Just don't have room for it all. Well, you guys, I'm going to say thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. But before I say that, I'm just wondering, what should I buy here? I want to take something home. That's $12. That grandma. Trinket box is only $12. I wonder if I should buy that. There's a creamer with flowers. It's milk glass. It's twelve dollars. I think I'm gonna get this one. I think I'm gonna get this one. Oh, it's seven dollars. Can't decide. While well, I'm deciding. Gonna grab the grandma and say thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> She's cute. Yeah. I think I'll take this one. I think I'm gonna grab her and hit the road.